In today's review, we are going to be looking at a selection of gifts for artists of all ages um, and gifts that will suit all budgets. So I hope you enjoy the review and I hope you enjoy looking at the selection of gifts that are suitable for Christmas, birthday and lots of different festivals. So let's get on with the review. The next gift set is suitable for artists that are beginners or experienced of any age. It's also great value. This is the Art and Fly Portable Watercolour Travel Paint Set, which is, includes water brushes, sponges, this palette, and it comes with a great variety of colours. They're pigment colours, so they're good quality. We've got these water brushes, and the palettes are really good design because they detach. So if you wanted to take them, you could do. And what you can do is pop these palettes cakes out and make your own colour selection. So if you wanted to take them out and about, you can do. I will be talking about this palette set in more detail in another review. So if you look at the description at the top, I will show you more about the quality of this set in a later review. It's a great set to take. I will stress it's a travel set. So the quality would not be studio quality. To go with this, I would purchase a Moleskin Art Collection notebook. This is a fantastic book that's pocket size, so it would be suitable for taking with this travel set and it has watercolour paper, 200 GSM, so the both together are a great combination for a gift. The next thing I'm going to talk to you about is a kind of quirky gift, and it's a group of cameras called Lomography cameras. Now this particular one here is called a Lomography Action Sampler and it takes its photographs in four different lenses so they comprise of four squares put together and I've got some examples here to show you this is what they come out like and it's kind of like a little mini animation put together in a photograph so you have your viewfinder here that's what you look through and then you have the, the um, button for moving along your film because this is a film camera and there's your shutter release so it's a really fun gift um, and there are other cameras in the series, this is the one that I have, but there are other cameras that take similar photographs only they don't take them in the four square or four lens format. This one's the Holger, which I have also a link to the description below, which takes retro images like this one here. It's, it's still got the retro feel and you also have the Diana, this one's got a, a flash built in. And again, you've got that retro fill with the images. You will need to buy film with the camera. It doesn't have to be Lomography film, but in the descriptions below, I have included Lomography film. The next gift that I'm going to share with you is a book called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. This book is for an artist at any level, whether you're starting on your drawing journey or that you are a professional artist or an artist in training. It has recent developments in brain research. It's got lots of exercises to help you with your drawing skills. Detailed advice of how to apply five basic skills to solve drawing problems. It's a fantastic gift and would help challenge anyone at any level. The next gift I'm going to share with you is the Instax Mini 9 camera. It does not come in one of these cases. This case was bought separately, so if you wanted one like this, you would have to buy it separately. Um, it produces credit card size photographs, has a built-in flash, shutter speed of 1 to 60, um, has a selfie mirror, close-up lens attachment, um, um, uses Instax mini film only, um, and it will take AA batteries. Now, there are a wide variety of colors and they are flamingo pink, ice blue, cobalt blue, lime green, smoky white, clear purple and clear yellow. So there's quite a few new colours available. Now, you just have to, when you're taking the photographs, make sure that you are getting everything within the frame. That's the only thing that you need to take care of. Everything else is point and shoot. So this is a really fun camera to use. Now, when the pictures come out, they look like this. 
and you can customize them in all kinds of ways. You can write along the bottom. So if you wanted to write the date or the location of where you've taken your photograph, you could do that. Lots of people make fun displays of them on the wall. So this is a great fun gift to give someone who has an interest in photography. Now we have two books that are aimed at people that like to keep visual journals. One is called Wreck This Journal. The other one is called Create This Book. And they are great gifts for people who find it maybe a struggle to come up with ideas and this will help to spark their creativity. I would suggest the Wreck This Journal one would be for the older children into the teenage years or adults. Create This Book would be for younger children. I bought this one for a younger child and they are great. They come up with so many ideas. So say that they're over the summer holidays and they're bored, you get the Wreck This Journal or the Create This Book out and it's got lots of activities that they can do. Um, so if you turn to a page, bring this book in the shower with you. Um, there's lots of activities that they can do on each page. They would never be bored for something to do. And if you were going to buy one of these, I would suggest that you bought some pens with them as well um, to complete the gift. Um, and I'll put them in the description below also. So to create this book, we've done lots of things with this. We've stuck fabrics in the book. So there's lots of things that you can do with these books. So a great gift for either a younger child or a teenager. The next gift that I'm going to recommend is one that's an addition to the iPad or iPad Pro, and that's the iPencil. It's a great way for students to start to express themselves on their iPad and to make a way into digital media. It can be used in conjunction with a subscription to Procreate or another digital package. Um, so it would be worth looking into that. Um, the iPencil can be used in a variety of ways um, and there are also Adobe packages available for iPad now. So if you wanted to have a look into using that with the iPad, that would be great. And just make sure you get the right pencil for the right iOS. So for my next recommendation, I would like to look at the Pentel Oil Pastels set of 50. This is a great value pack and look at the descriptions below for links of where you can get this on Amazon. There's a wide variety of colours here and this is why I could recommend this for not only a budding young artist but students that are going to college because there are so many wide, wide varieties of colours here. Um, not only do you get all the colours here but also you get two whites which is great because they always run out. So great to include an extra one in this pack. Now if you're going to buy these oil pastels I would also recommend getting a sketchbook. I have here two sketchbooks and please also look at my video clip on sketchbooks for any media. Here I have the Artway white cartridge paper A4 but I also have here a black paper sketchbook which is great um, accompaniment for colour media but especially for the oil pastels so see the links below for where you can get a black paper sketchbook.